are not in the middle of uh, an economic, a historic economic crisis right now. This is an opportunity. <laughs> We're not, though. What are we in? I mean, come on. U.S. consumer prices jumped 6.2% in October, the biggest inflation surge in more than 30 years. But while the Biden administration is having internal conniptions about how to sway Biden inflation, Americans are suffering. This inflation is a regressive tax. Middle and lower class families are being hit the hardest. Yet for the White House, it claims to be for the working class. They are in no rush and have no motivation and no plan to curb these price spikes, apparently. Are you confident that prices for the average American will be down by the time we head into next November and Election Day? The pandemic has been calling the shots uh, for the economy and for inflation. And if we want to get inflation down, I think continuing to make progress against the pandemic is the most important thing we can do. He has more idiots working for him, Joe Biden does. The pandemic, the pandemic, it's all bogus. They don't care about you. They don't care about uh, anybody out there. All they care about are votes. The left-wing media is nervous about how bad this looks for 2022. So the White House is attempting to fall back on their tried and true excuse. It's the pandemic's fault, not ours, watch. In the short term, number one, we have to finish the job on COVID. Getting those shots out for five to 11 year olds is gonna provide a lot of comfort to American families. We're making a lot of progress on that front. Vaccinating children will stop inflation. That folks is how seriously team Biden is taking this. It all is smoke and mirrors, all right? What else are they pushing as the magical inflation cure? Spending trillions more on Biden's budget disaster. Joe Biden signed the infrastructure bill now into law today, pushing reconciliation back onto the forefront for this week. The passage of that partisan wish list could be the ultimate nail in this nation's coffin. Well, Republican congressman from Ohio and author of the book, Do What You Said You Would Do, our friend Jim Jordan joins me now. Congressman, good to see you. Good to be with you. So, Congressman, what's this infrastructure bill? He says 1.75. By any estimates, it's either double that. Some estimates it could be $4.9 yeah. trillion dollars when it's all said and done. What's going on now? Well, they're going to spend more money. I mean, the Democrats' overall economic plan is, you know, lock down the economy, spend like crazy, pay people not to work. And now if they pass this bill for everyone who has been working, they're going to raise your taxes. Such a deal for the American family and the American taxpayer. Uh, and this bill will only make a bad situation worse. So I, I found that interesting, the clips you play, because which is it? Is there really no problem, like Jin Psaki said, or is there a problem that's been caused by COVID? You can't have it both ways. And the truth is, it is a real problem, and it's not caused by COVID. I mean, we have 30-year high inflation, and Jin Psaki says, oh, nothing to worry about here. So everything costs more. You want to buy a home? It costs more. You want to rent an apartment? It costs more. To put groceries on the table? It costs more. To put... Um, to, to put gas in your car, it costs more to buy a turkey and to buy Christmas presents. It all costs more because this is Joe Biden's crazy economic plan. It's bad for the country. Let's hope this bill doesn't pass this week, but they're bound to determine to do it. We'll just have to wait and see. We will. So, um, look, you just mentioned everything that's costing a lot of people a lot of money. You're from a part of Ohio. You got a lot of working class people up there. They're getting hurt by this. Stephanie Rule, one of the media henchmen that, that works for the Biden administration over at MSNBC, um, said this today about inflation, Congressman. You have to put all this in perspective. This inflation is not in isolation. And the government predicted it was going to be a challenging recovery. The dirty little secret here, Willie, while nobody likes to pay more, on average, we have the money to do so. Household savings hit a record high over the pandemic. That's not true. Congressman, that's their answer? It's not. Yeah. Tell me. No, it's, it's not true. Real wages were up under President Trump. Real wages are down under President Biden. The fact that we have more money, there might be more money, but the prices went up higher than your wages have went up, than your salaries went up, than your take-home pay has went up. That's the problem. This is a hidden tax, and this big two, three, four train, whatever this thing is that they're trying to pass this week, um, it's only going to exacerbate an already 30-year high inflationary rate. So, yeah, this is 
I mean, the left says all the crazy things they, they do. This is, and think about energy. A week and a half ago in a hearing, we had a Democrat member of Congress. We had the energy CEOs of the big energy company, Exxon, Chevron, Shell, the big energy companies there. And a Democrat member of Congress, Ro Khanna, says, will you guys pledge? Will you promise? He was badgering the witnesses. Will you promise to decrease production? And I thought, what, 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 what's going on? You're pushing American companies to decrease production at the same time the president of the United States is begging OPEC to increase production. I mean, I think these guys want $8 gas for the American families. So it's, it's craziness. Uh, there's a reason why Joe Biden's approval ratings are in the 30s, because he's doing everything wrong. Every policy decision they make has been bad for the country. Congressman, you've been there a, a while up in Washington. Have you ever, I mean, this is a legitimate question. Have you ever seen it this bad, what's going on right now? No, nope, have not. Have not. And there's a reason. There was a, there was a survey. American people get it. There was a survey a few weeks ago. 71% of the country, 71% of the country thinks we're on the wrong track, that America's on the wrong track. And, I, and I, I, when I saw that, I said, who are the 29% who think we're on the right track? I'd like to meet these people because there hasn't been one thing done well. And it's happened. This is the, this is the thing that's so alarming. I talked to, with, with constituents, travel around the country, talk to people. They can't believe it. I can't believe it. You can't believe it. No one can believe it all happened in 10 months. We went from energy independence to the, the president begging OPEC to increase production. We went from a, a secure border to complete chaos. We went from stable pricing to 30-year high inflation, and on and on you could go. So no one thought it could happen this quickly, get this bad this fast. And there's a reason I think Biden's approval ratings at 38 percent. The vice president, uh, Vice President Harris is at 28 percent. The two of them combined barely get above 50 percent, for goodness sake. Yeah. That's how bad it is. You, you know, I've warned that, yes, all of this helps us in 2022, but boy, the damage they can do between yeah. now and then is uh, is really, really bad. Um, Congressman Jim Jordan, always good to see you, my friend. Thank you. You bet. Thank you, Grant. Grant Stinchfield is on Newsmax every night fighting for the America First agenda.